This lesson deals with supplemental problem 6.1. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 6 supplemental problems on page 1. Given this op amp circuit with 1R and 1C, can you solve for the voltage V out as a function of time given an input voltage also as a function of time? Although we'll do this symbolically, we're assuming that we know the value of the R and the C and the voltage V sub S. Let's label all of our steps on the drawing if we can. Let's see if we can solve for V out as a function of V sub S. A feedback from the output terminal to one of the input terminals of the op amp. Let's assume that that feedback is stable and that drives the voltage across the op amp to zero. No current coming in or out of the op amp because it's a very high resistance. So the voltage across R1 then is just this node voltage, which is V sub S minus zero. So just V sub S. So the current then would be V sub S divided by R1. And all of that current has to go into the capacitor. And it creates a drop across the capacitor. And we can use our definition of capacitor voltage from our chapter six notes. Let's solve for V out. The rise in voltage is V out. The drop is minus the capacitor voltage plus zero. And that's my equation right here. In the chapter six note, we found that the voltage across the capacitor is one over C, in this case C2, integral from T0 to T1 of the current DT plus the initial condition, call it V sub C of T0. Now the voltage across the capacitor is related to the output voltage by a sign change. So here we've got zero volts. So basically the minus sign is here and effectively the plus sign is here. Let's solve for this in terms of V out because that's what we're trying to solve for. I'll replace this by minus V zero of T zero. So this is the initial condition of the output, initial condition of the capacitor voltage. Now R1 is not a function of time, so we'll bring that out in front. So I've got a minus one over R1 C2 integral from T zero to T1 of V sub S of T DT plus the initial voltage at the output of the op amp. We could also do a change of variable here and replace T1 by T, and then we put T over here, and we should use a different variable here because it would mean something very different if we left T here. So we use dummy variable X again. So the output voltage is minus one over R1 C2, the integral from T0 to T, the voltage V sub S DX, plus the initial voltage across the output terminals of the op amp. The circuit is also called an integrator. It takes the integral of the input and gives you an output that's related to that integral multiplied by a constant. And this is supplemental problem 6.1.